welcome back to Life is Strange. We're looking to break into Nathan's dorm room and see if we can find any information. And we just learned that Nathan is not around. So I'm going to go let Chloe know about that. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. I just saw a peak of a sign right out in the front of the dorm room, and it said like a, it was talking about a planned accessibility upgrade. You know, the thing that's probably going to be funded by the three thousand or no, was it five thousand dollars that we stole? <clears throat> So lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. I wonder what the signal is. Text message? From Kate. Max, in case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Okay, you were awesome. Thank you. Uh, you are a rebel. Uh, always, please be careful. Promise. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. <laughs> Those emoticons that Max use are adorable. Whoa, I just realized we have a lot of text messages. When should we get all these? Maybe... Back when we switch back to this timeline from mom uh maxine what the heck is going on with the weather up there are they doing military tests or something you're right in the eye of the storm no comment i've kept lisa alive through all this so we're still safe justin do you know frank bowers drugs that's it Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Juliet. Um, I'm not sure what we've read and what we haven't. I think probably the whole thing we haven't read. Uh, hey, Max, hope you're okay after everything. You might be busy, but feel free to call me anytime. Hey, Juliet, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? <laughs> Besides everything? I was just curious, have you ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town? You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why? Doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? <laughs> from Dad... Uh, hey honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from blocked number. Uh, probably Nathan. So sorry, some jackass in my class thought that'd be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Sorry I got in your face today and took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. Chloe, I understand. You're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. <laughs> okay, that is your one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on six coffee and candy for an all nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XOXO. And that was no emoji. I guess XOXO isn't an emoji, is it? Nah, I don't think so. Brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. I feel so bad for her and her family. 
why you're so hot. <laughs> because you care. I'm here with you, right? I think they might have been talking about Kate. The only words I was able to make out was like, I feel so bad for her. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Ooh. Bigfoot footprints. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. A lot of noise coming from all these dorms. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. We should probably rewind that, right? Breaking the door? Remember, you're on enemy turf now, Max. We just got something from Joyce. Uh... Oh, this is a long one. Uh, Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her. Unless you both want to play bad. But she can't, she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. Yeah, erasing the message wasn't enough. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I really hope they were all consenting models. Yeah, I wouldn't count on it. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk. I'm going to tell everybody what you did. And you are going to pay, motherfucker. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. This diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. Keep in mind, the father is an abusive shit, as we saw in Before the Storm. I thought Victoria had the photo. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. 
Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. I can rewind if he shows up, but I can't count on it. These films all have a dark pattern. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Let's see what Nathan hides in. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. From Nathan to Victoria Chase. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as stylin' and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious... Pa... Party favors? <laughs> what kind of an accent is that supposed to be written? I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're gonna have an end-of-the-world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. From Sean to Nathan. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Make an appointment with your parents. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panastase is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, uh, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell, this shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. From Christine. Tudo Bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you in your pictures. Nate got a full scholarship? What does that even matter with how much money the Prescott family has? Yes, my mother told you you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into... into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. <laughs> back to the mangrove. Mangrove? Sending out good thoughts? Better write back or I'll have a Jaguar shipped to your dorm. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Diet pills? Maybe he just has some serious body image issues. Yes. I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. What have I not looked at? I think I looked in here, that right? so Chloe. Yeah. Did I skip? Oh, scratch marks. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Secret cache? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Guess now it. I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. I'm guessing that's the uh, secret phone that Nathan probably uses to communicate with Mr. Jefferson. Cool, now it's opened. Doesn't Nathan come back right at this point? I vaguely remember some encounter in the hallway. Damn, man. 
Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho! <clears throat> Max, I got this. Superhero... Warren just pops out of nowhere? Unless Warren's stalking me like Elliot. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Yeah. Get off me, bro! Yeah. Nah, just stay out of it. Keep going. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get up! Please. Please stop. He's down. Hey, come on. Stop. Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. Warren went full alpha on Nathan, and it was good, but scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. I feel a twinge of guilt, but no, fuck Nathan. Also, do we have two guns now? That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh my god, I hate all this talk of alpha. <sighs> oh, fuck me. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. 
That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. remember this place. So now we have to see Frank all the way out here. I have really strange memories of this place. I think I made a small video. I, I remember recording a video where I like... showed the sound design that was going on on this beach. The sound of the waves. And the sound of this chain here. Making its very slight little clinky noise that you hear sometimes. can't really hear it right now. It's very, very slight. I have a memory of making that video, and I also remember... I think I was at a really emotional and weird point in my life when I was playing through this and recording it the first time. It just feels strange to be back here. That rust bucket of a car hasn't moved in ten years. You know, I keep thinking too. I feel like I've been a bit less empathetic, or uh, I guess I don't know if empathetic's the right word. A bit less forgiving of David and Nathan on this free playthrough. And I don't know how much of that is me having changed versus just me knowing more about these characters. Now that I know more about David, I hate him even more. And now that I know more about I Nathan, I hate him even more, too. Hell out of town, but not without Chloe. We have to finish this. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. What's the right angle that we need? It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Oh, this is the one we take a photo of. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. I feel like there's something else to take a picture of, too. Um... Hmm... The only one there I could see is maybe the... nest? I don't know where that would be exactly. Aw, oh, poor little beach ball. That's a sad sight. <laughs> Deflated beach ball. Let me take a quick look around. My legacy lives on. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. Yeah, I can't find any other photo opportunities. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to talk with Frank.